and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hello and thanks for joining me and if you're returning, welcome back. This week I'm going to cover my skincare routine and I have a very basic skincare routine. I'm 51 and I believe that as you get older it takes more and more effort to look after your skin and the sooner you start a healthy skincare regime, the better. So I'd like to share with you today what I do in the evenings before I go to bed and what I do when I get up in the morning, just to give you some ideas and so I can show you the products that I use and what works for me. It's not to say that it will work for everyone and I'm not saying I've got fantastic skin and that I have no wrinkles because I obviously do, but I do think that if you share with people and if there's one product you know, that I can recommend and that you start using and that improves your skin quality or tone, then you've learned something and you've benefited. So stay with me. And if you like my YouTube video, please give me a thumbs up and click on subscribe. So let's get started. First of all, just going to tie my hair back and I still have some leftover makeup from the day. It's the end of the evening now and I really am, it is dark outside and I really am getting ready for bed. So what I first will do is take off the rest of my makeup, mostly it's um, my eye makeup. And the first product I use is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover and I absolutely love this, I swear by it. I wear quite a lot of eyeliner and mascara and I do find that this really takes it off well. So I just apply it to a cotton wool pad and take my makeup off. I wear contact lenses and I do find that this is absolutely fantastic. I get no stinging, it doesn't make my eyes sore. It really takes my makeup off um, thoroughly around my eyes and you know, with very little rubbing. Some um, products I've used, you really have to give them a good scrub, but I do find that the Clinique Take the Day Off is very gentle and fine for use with contact lenses and um, you know, all the time. It's never given me any problems. So it's one of my favorite products. So that's my eye makeup removed. And now I'm going to cleanse my face. And the cleanser that I've used for years and years and years and that I absolutely love is the Liz Earl. I absolutely love this product. I've been using it for ages. It's very gentle on your skin. This is the Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth. And I love it because you um, can apply it to your skin when it's dry. It takes all the traces of makeup off. I like using soap and I guess I'm old fashioned. I like using soap and a flannel and it gives me that feel that my skin is really clean. So I tend to use, I think two pumps generally gets most of my makeup off and you apply it to your skin when it's dry. I love rubbing it all over and down my neck as well. You mustn't forget your neck into all the nooks and crannies. And then rinsing it off with the cloth. So I take the cloth, wet cloth, and give it a really good rinse all over my face with the cloth, making sure that I get rid of all the traces of makeup that are still left and really getting a nice cleanse and getting rid of all the dirt and the grime from the day. And then I splash my skin with some nice fresh water just to make sure that I've got rid of all the traces of product and makeup and just rinse it nicely with fresh water. And then I just pat my skin dry. 
making sure that it's really nice and starting to feel lovely and clean and fresh. The next step in my skincare routine in the evening is to apply either a retinol or a retinoid and I have two products that I use and they're both from The Ordinary uh, and they're very, very reasonably priced. I've used a lot of products in the past, a lot of serums and retinols on my skin and I've come to settle on these two and I alternate um, between the retinol 0.2% in squalen and the um, Granactive Retinoid 2% in Squalen. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not completely sure. But I'll put all the details in the description box below. And I think they come in uh, around between five and 10 pounds. They are not expensive. The Ordinary Products, I am an absolute massive fan of the Ordinary Products. And I've been using them for a couple of years now and I can honestly say that my skin has improved so much that you know, there's so much you can do with um, creams and serums and all these products, you know. Nothing is going to get rid of your aging completely. Nothing is going to make you look like you're 20 again when you're in your 50s. And I think we have to face that. And you also have to think about holistically, you know, what's your lifestyle like? Do you smoke? Do you exercise? Do you eat healthily? All these things are going to affect your skin. Um, so, you know, it's really important to think about the bigger picture when you're thinking about aging and anti-aging products. You know, there is no miracle cream out there. There is, no matter how much money you spend on products, you are never going to find a cream that you will apply and it is going to make you look miraculously younger. It just doesn't exist. So you have to look after yourself and you have to think about everything. So these are the products that I've um, come to love and I can honestly say that they do make a difference. I can see a difference in my skin. I still have wrinkles. Of course I do. You know, um, I wouldn't want to look like I wasn't my age, you know. So I, you know, I think real wrinkles tell a story and they are, you know, who you are in your life. And, you know, so I'm... I'm trying to keep my skin looking as healthy as it can within and you know within reason and I'm being realistic. So these are the two products that I alternate. One night I'll use one and one night I'll use the other. So I just apply a couple of drops and um, and then rub each drop. I usually put one drop on my forehead. and on my cheek and give that a nice rub in and again a drop it's nearly running out and a drop on my chin and give it a nice rub in all over I absolutely love this product and I'm just very careful under my eyes. And if you're not used to using retinoids or retinol, obviously I've been using it for a few years, but you have to be super careful. But these aren't strong. One is 0.2% and one is, they're both 0.2%. No, one's 2% and one's 0.2%, sorry. I will put all the details down in the, in the box. So the last step in my skincare routine is another product by The Ordinary and this is the cold pressed rose hip seed oil and I use this over the top of the retinol or the retinoid depending on which one I'm using and again I will just apply a drop to my forehead and either cheek and my chin and just massage it in nicely and I take it all down my neck as well and onto my decolletage just to make sure that I'm spreading it out and it's a nice opportunity to just give your skin a really lovely massage. So that's basically it for my evening skincare routine. I don't believe in putting layer upon layer upon layer of products. I think that 
after a while, you know, you're just, you're putting one on top of another, on top of another, and it's just not gonna penetrate your skin. It's just not gonna get through layers and layers of product. And, you know, it, realistically, it's just not gonna benefit your skin at all by layering products upon products. So that's it, that's what I do. And I'm looking nice and shiny, I have no makeup on at all. This is it now, I'm off to bed. And so I'm going to say goodnight, and then when I get up in the morning, I shall show you my morning routine. So, sleep well. So, morning. Um, hope you're all refreshed after a good night's sleep. Um, it's a work day for me this morning, so I've already had a shower, jumped in the shower, and I've washed my face. And I'll just show you what I've been using recently is um, this Sarah V. Um, I got it from Boots and I think it was about eight pounds roughly. Um, it's a hydrating cleanser from normal to dry skin and it's fragrance free and it's sort of allergy tested and everything else. So I normally just get up at six in the morning um, and because I'm under time pressure when I'm working, I'm straight in the shower and I wash my face with this quickly and jump out and get dry. So that's where I'm at now. And the next step, because I don't have a lot of time in the morning, I don't need, I just don't have time to mess around. So I use the um, hyaluronic acid 2% and B5 from The Ordinary again, which I absolutely love. It's really hydrating. And again, I just pop a couple of drops on um, my forehead and my cheeks and my chin and rub it in nicely and just spread it around. And sorry, my face is a bit flush because I'm a really hot shower. Um, and then the next product I use is again by The Ordinary and I use, it's a highly spreadable fluid primer. And if I could recommend one product, product out of everything I use, it would be this. It is absolutely amazing. It It is like airbrushing your face. It is amazing. So um, I could, I can really recommend it. And it's not terribly expensive. So again, I just put a drop of that on. It's quite thick actually. So I put a drop on my cheek, cheeks and my chin, and it just makes your skin feel so silky soft and smooth and absolutely beautiful. And I just wanted to add to what I was saying last night um, that looking after your skin isn't just about putting creams and lotions and potions on, it is also about making sure that you get a really good night's sleep and that uh, you eat well and that you exercise and drinking water as well. I've tried to increase the amount of water I drink and I've noticed a huge difference with my skin. I really think that it gives you a much clearer complexion. I don't suffer with a lot of spots. I get the odd one now and again, but honestly, drinking water is so good for your skin. And the final step that um, I do before I put go and do my makeup or get dressed and do my makeup. I don't I don't put creams on my neck because I use um, a moisturizer all over after I've got out the shower and I tend to put that down my neck and my shoulders and my arms and everywhere else. So I use a general body moisturizer for my neck in the morning, just again, because I'm really under time pressure. You know, I don't have a lot of time in the morning when I've got to get out of the house to work. So. I use the Clinique Even Better Dark Spot Defense, and this is a factor 50, and I always use this. It is absolutely amazing. It gives your skin a beautiful um, sheen. It does have a slight tint in it, but it doesn't actually cover anything. It just looks great. And also because I use the retinoids and the retinol, it does advise that you use a sun uh, protection. And that is also something else to think about as you get older is, Sudden damage is awful. Do not lie out in the sun and tan your face. If you want a bit of color in your face, just use a fake tan because the damage that it can cause is irreparable. So um, I use this every day throughout winter and the summer and I absolutely love it. And again, I just apply a blob and I literally put it on my cheeks and my chin 
and my forehead and just give it a really nice rub in. Like I say, it does have a little bit of a color to it, a tint, but it actually doesn't color your skin. And I've worn this when I've been on holiday in California and it really does work. I have never caught the sun on my face or um, had, you know, a suntan, a natural suntan. I might use a bit of bronzer and fake tan on my face, just to give me a bit of color. But I certainly do not lie out in the sun uh, and, and expose my face to the sun anymore. So there we go. I do take it down underneath my chin. So there we go. That's it. I'm all ready to go. I'm going to go and put some makeup on, get dressed and off to work. So have a good day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me the thumbs up, click on subscribe and um, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.